on it? Why does mommy get touch your band-aids? Yeah. I don't know. She needs to quit it. Huh? Yeah. Say, get your hands off my band-aids. What? I need a Lulu lemon bag because Lulu and I love lemons. <laughs> <laughs> so Lulu, Lulu needs a Lulu. Yeah. <laughs> I think Danielle was out doing a little back to school stuff, and so I'm just gonna clean up and start prepping for this video that we're about to do. And uh, but I'll do a little Q and A. Ask away. I. Uh, I mean, date nights has just been one of those things where, like, our house is, like, so busy and so just, like, high stress. There's just always something going on. There's always a lot of kids around and stuff like that, and it just makes it hard to have date nights. And so, like, whenever we do, like, honestly, we put it on the calendar. We have set sitters uh, that come in, and we just have it all scheduled out, like, weeks in advance. Uh, just to make sure it happens just so that we can make it a priority and uh, yeah that's how we do it so like typically like one night out of the weekend either a Friday or Saturday night will be like a date night for Daniel and I and then the other night would be like a family night where we go and like do something together as a family so that's just what we do it may not I mean I don't know it may not be the best but it, it works for us I do not have a black stone. Um, honestly, like, I just don't want another thing to, like, clutter up the back patio. Like, our patio, just with all the kids' toys and just, like, everything, it just gets cluttered. Uh, so, actually, that's one thing that this house did not have whenever we bought it was like an outdoor kitchen it's got the cabana over here but no outdoor kitchen so i think that's something that we're going to try to add uh in the next year or so hopefully and then if that's the case then i'll build like a blackstone and then like a smoker and stuff like that i'm going to build all that in uh, but i just don't want another thing that's just going to just get pushed up against the house favorite episode in the new season um hasn't happened yet hasn't aired yet um this next week is actually a really good one um it's a super fun one danielle's off to i think danielle is off at a buyer's market for the uh the boutique and so like i had all the girls by myself for the week and i let the girls have a yes day so this this coming episode is gonna be really good, um, and I, I'm not even sure that that one's my favorite, but it, it ranks up there because it's a fun one. Um, you know, one towards the end of the season, like we're doing some camping stuff. We've got some, um, I don't know. Uh, there's one really fun one. I think it's gonna be the last episode. And it's completely different than any other episode we've ever done. And it's super cool. Honestly, I don't really watch much TV. Um, usually whenever I'm watching something, like last night, I watched uh, two soccer games. Uh, I watched the Houston Dynamo. I watched the Houston Dynamo win last night in the tournament and Miami. Um, I don't know. Like, I think... Uh, it's mostly like sports like I'll, I'll watch sports um, any other TV shows I may watch it's usually as I'm falling asleep uh, I, I usually just like may turn something on just for background noise and uh, I mean that's really about it I, I watch very little TV uh, this one's super easy uh, it's Lightroom I use Lightroom for like a lot of my studio work um and client work and just to like catalog all my photos taken with like my big cameras um and then for and then i can edit everything because it's all synced up on the lightroom mobile app and so i do a lot of editing from my phone uh there's also one other standalone app that sometimes i'll use um 
if I'm looking for a specific look or something in a photo, I use lens distortions. Um, but you have to uh, have a, uh, it's a subscription for it as well. So it's not a free app, um, but it's kind of like a specialized type app, but I love that one too. <laughs> um, out of all the kids, Blake, um, out of the family, Danielle. <laughs> She's not a morning person, so, uh, but that's not fair. Uh, we have uh, vested interests in multiple companies, um, other just assets and stuff that we make money on. Um, I am a freelance uh, photographer, videographer, I have like a production company. Uh, I'll do, do business with multiple other, mostly businesses uh, and shoot content for them uh, at Good Ranchers, actually being one of them uh, that have a retainer on. Um, let's see, we have the boutique, we have, um, I mean, the YouTube channel is a, is a big part of our business and the, and the family brand with that. We've got the TV show. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that we ended a two year hiatus from shooting the show just to come back and do one season. Uh, we have uh, vested interests in multiple companies, um, other just assets and stuff that we make money on. Um, I am a freelance uh, photographer, videographer, I have like a production company. Uh, I'll do do business with multiple other, mostly businesses, uh, and shoot content for them uh, at Good Ranchers, actually being one of them uh, that have a retainer on. Um, let's see, we have the boutique, we have, um, I mean, the YouTube channel is a, is a big part of our business and the, and the family brand with that. We've got the TV show. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that we ended a two year hiatus from shooting the show just to come back and do one season? It's holding. They've only used it one time though. So fingers crossed. Uh this may take more than a minute, but I think it's, honestly, I think this is funny. Um, first of all, you would have to understand Danielle and I's like dynamic and just like the way that we communicate, the way that we talk, our sarcasm. Uh, a lot of times, like whenever we're filming, Comes like out as drama. it comes out as drama but it's really like sarcasm and like joking and banter and just like like i may so like everybody says like you i have say may you do i have really good like resting uh, rbf and and so like I'll, I'll say something that it looks like i'm serious because adam likes the mystery of making you think is he serious or is he joking he's gonna pick on you or is he not? Is he gonna scare you or is he not? Like, this is the life I live. I mean, but also like, I mean, I've seen comments on online and stuff. And honestly, like there's a lot of things being said, like people read into conversations that we've had and say things about certain conversations that we've had that they've seen on the show that were never said. Um, it's interesting. Uh, some of that, some huh? Some of the comments that I've seen, like people, people making comments that I've said certain things about Danielle's weight. If you go back and look at the episodes, never once. My boyfriend calls me fat. <laughs> never once said anything about her weight. Never it's once. Movie, Lindsay. So never once said anything about her weight. Um, it's funny. There was one comment about the Peloton, which we were arguing back and forth about where to put the Peloton. And she wanted me to move it upstairs. 
but so we were going back and forth about like where to where to we're remodeling our bedroom a little bit reconfiguring it and we're just trying to figure out where are we going to move the peloton i had just kind of organized the garage but also like you gotta you gotta think we there's have a to justify it there's a time. lot of things that go yeah what's a joke there's a lot of things that go into the show just though. wait till you see me before i go out of town what tell adam mean? i want to punch him in his face <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to get that backlash uh but like okay so my reasoning for not even wanting to put it in the garage is whenever we're filming the show production sets up a lot of stuff in the garage and takes up the garage and so it's like uh, i don't really want to put it in the garage for one thing it's texas it's hot it's humid i don't want an expensive peloton going in the garage and then she was wanting me that night to carry the peloton upstairs by myself but that night it was like right before the party started and i was by myself there's no way i could have picked up and carried the peloton up there by myself and what you didn't see is the party was going to be outside and what you didn't see when he, we're talking about outside right there was all the things from our bedroom and the bike and the workout stuff was all on the patio which is where the party was supposed to be so <laughs> that stuff got cut out so it was just back Anyways. and forth a lot of the conversation was like sarcasm Plus, I like and, the bike and and that's like one thing that kimmy was there everybody's oh. like i can't believe you said that right in front of her, her danielle's friend it was kimmy <laughs> And Kimmy's always making fun of me because she's like, the way that like I have sarcasm with Danielle, she calls it poking the bear. Because like I'll just like say stuff just because I know it's going to get under Danielle's skin and we laugh about it. But on the show, you don't see that. Like it looks like tension. It looks like fighting. It looks like I'm rude, but it's not at all. But just know that like you guys only see maybe less than 1% of conversations of interactions so naturally it's a television show it's going to be cut and edited for a dramatic effect it's a tv show um uh there's there's conversations that are had in the show that like you can't just you can't just like let the entire conversation play because it would the show would be two hours long and so like you know a conversation may get cut at a certain point and it just may leave room for like implying something that may not necessarily be the case and so i mean i think that's it and honestly it's i'm gonna get cut off again and i think this is like the kicker whatever whatever's going on in somebody's personal life whatever circumstance that you've had in your own life whatever relationship issues um, whether good or bad, um, it makes you, it makes your mind skew a certain way whenever you watch like a television show. So you may see an interaction, um, see conversations between Danielle and I, and you may take something completely out of it that isn't even the case because of your own circumstances. Um, I mean, just try to watch objectively, but, um, a lot of things that I've been seeing, it's just, it's not the case. And I've told a few people like, go back and watch the conversation, watch what was said, because like what you're saying that I said, never said.